and we'd like to hear that public announcement. And then, absolutely, we want to take part in the public question session and the photo op. That they're here for. As her constituents. As her, and I'm a constituent of Ed Holder specifically. Well, so. you'll have an opportunity to speak with him. He's coming up. So, you know, why did he pick a private space that we can't participate I then can't for this speak announcement? On his behalf. I'm not, well, I don't, then I'm I will not definitely his, ask you I don't myself. Work with him. So, where is the public? I just know that public? I work here and this is. No, I understand that. And, and having said that, isn't this publicly funded, this organization, through Employment Ontario or through the feds? I'm not going to get into an argument. I'm just saying respectfully, if you wait no, outside, you can have all the time in the world to talk with them. If I had any chance at all to put people in a room, the company and the union, lock the door and don't let them go until they solve this thing. That's what I would love to see. If the company's not talking, they're going through a uh, PR firm. I think what's interesting, though, is that EMD there, EMD there has a, a real intent to, to leave, or they don't. If they don't, if they have a, uh, a real intent to leave, nothing's going to matter. But if they have an intent to stay, I think that's where the opportunity, the potential is for something to happen. Because somebody's got to blink at some point. It's you can't ridiculous. say nothing matters. I mean, that's a huge tax base. Well, listen, I, I just mean, I just mean practical. You, 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 you try to challenge me on the words. I just mean sincere with you. Would you care to sign this petition to support Caterpillar workers? You know what? I don't sign petitions. I never, since I've been elected as a member of Parliament, and I've had many petitions that I present uh, to. Uh, in the House of Commons, uh, but I promise you, I'd be I'd be very pleased to present that uh, in the House of Commons for you. But I'm well, in your riding, yes, and sir. I signed this position and I, this petition, and I believe in this petition. Yes, I know. You, you need to believe in this petition because these jobs are going. You I, gave five I, I, million I, I, dollars I, I, to this organization. We didn't, no, we didn't, sir. No, we didn't. you no, gave millions no, of dollars no, no, to this organization. No, I got to make it very, very clear. As then I please said, clarify for we, us. We made, we gave no money to Electromotive Diesel. We gave no money to Caterpillar. Not, like none. Okay. And, and, and I think that's. I, I mean, I heard Bob Ray say that the other day when he was in town. I've heard union leadership say that, but it's just not true. Five million was given to Electromotive when it was what? under Greenbrier, but now there's also other tax breaks that have been what you'll, what you'll, put in place for Caterpillar but to let, receive. Let's be clear on what the facts are. And I think that this, I think it's really important. I'm not here to negotiate with you on this basis because the tragedy here, frankly, uh, is that workers who are frankly scared for the sake of their families, and I get that. I really get that. And, 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 it, and if it was a, a, as simple as me saying you got to stay in this room and, and not come out until you got this settled, I mean, that's obviously what we want to see happen. But what happened was a few years ago, and this is specifically what happened, the, uh, the federal government announced a capital cost allowance reduction for customers for comp of, of companies like EMD who wanted to buy those locomotives. And why do you do that sort of thing? You do it so that will promote more uh, generation of, of purchasing of locomotives. And how is that, that working reason? out for you? Well, I guess the question it's is... It's not working out well in, for us. Well, let me tell you this in the absence of that in the absence of that and uh, that then then the circumstance becomes that's that much more challenging so what you've got to do is you've got to create the conditions where companies want to stay and, this and petition would create that petition that, no. that situation then then you have that signed and I will present that in the House of Commons and I'd be honored to do that so so your corporate tax cuts as an example no different than McGinty continue to give blank checks to organizations and entities which you say which it's been proven do not create jobs but you say that they do and or investments in this province or this country and it doesn't happen it's been proven so instead, instead absolutely, absolutely. As a absolutely. As a my brother has a business, just and he owns that business, he gets a few hundred or a few thousand dollars in tax cuts, he didn't run out the next day and hire new people. I can tell you that's the case. And so having said that, as a public servant, you continue to cut my jobs. I'm a provincial public servant, but you plan on cutting thousands of jobs, and McGinty's doing the exact same thing. Well, this isn't about parties, this is about government. But if you take a breath, and, and let me respond. Yep. What I would say to you respectfully is I would say to anyone who's listening here, this has always ever been about trying to treat root workers with respect, but to create an environment where business wants to hire. Because you have to understand that the wealth creators are the small, the medium, and the large businesses. So what do you try to do? And is, is it a perfect situation? Does it work every time? I would say what you're trying to do is create an environment where they're going to, to purchase more equipment, which means more production throughout the, the process. And they're not. Well, well, that's not true. And and, and, the, and the second part of this is, is that you try to do, because what do you do if you if, if, if they've got tax breaks, they're going to pay. They'll pay.
pay whatever taxes they pay, but in turn, you know what they'll do? They'll hire people, they'll they'll invest in equipment. That's the kind of thing. And I tell you, as a business guy, and I came from a business with 160 employees, and it does matter. Now, mine isn't the largest company, but yeah. I can tell you, it was a significant company. And I've been a plant manager. Okay, so you and, understand and, that. And I understand that that's not the case. Well, then, you that know when what? these people are sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars and not spending it, and as you say, saving it for a rainy day, and in other organizations, well, I'm telling you, okay, you didn't say it to me just now. So people are sitting on this money, not spending it, and or it doesn't exist. You have corporations robbing pension plans, taking back from workers. These workers at EMD, for example, bargained their pension. I said I was a public servant. No, I'm not. Okay. No. So as a public servant, you're coming, not you, but the provincial government's coming after my benefits and bargaining openly in the news by saying zeros and zeros. And you're balancing the books on the backs of public sector workers, the feds are doing it too, and also on the backs of workers and well, by increasing taxes and or other things and cutting services. What do you say to cutting services to these people in particular, EMD, who are now going to need these services? Not to mention you've denied them. You won't even, the MPPs won't even hear their argument with regard to well, wanting even, EI. You, well, you said MPPs. If you have MPP issues, frankly, I'm not well, here to speak and, for and I'm I understand speak, that. I'm not here to speak for your MPPs. It's not my place. But I think it is a good dialogue that you need to have locally with Chris Bentley and Deb Matthews and see what they say. I think that's an important discussion. I don't know if that discussion's taken place, but if it hasn't, I think that's appropriate. I think it is worthwhile. As it relates to us, I mean, you and I can, can disagree, and I respectfully will disagree about the impact of things like tax cuts. I can tell you, Canada, and this is going to sound like a speech and not intended to, was the last to get into this mess of a worldwide recession. First to get out, but frankly, there's pain, and, and, and what we're trying to do is create an environment where business can grow and create the jobs. And, and, and you know, that's no consolation to anybody on the line at EMB today. I get that, and I think anybody that has a heart gets that. That's why the Minister of Labour made the call that she did to uh, speak with uh, the head of the CAW and to speak with the union to see if there was any, or, or, pardon me, with, and the company, see if there was any opportunity, or try, opportunity to try to pull these sides together. And Because we all, all Londoners, and frankly Canadians, but Londoners want that. They want EMD to stay. The issue I have, and I just don't know, does EMD plan to stay? It's, it, I, I, I wish I had an answer for that. I don't know that. I don't know that folks at EMD know that either, as far as the workers. I don't know that. If that's their intention, then nothing's going to matter. But and if in fact, but if, sorry, but if in fact they do plan to stay, and, 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 and I will tell you, I've been a kind of a both minds of that. At one point, I, I was sure that electromotive diesel was going to go, and, uh, and, and, and now I'm not so sure, and I'm sure as heck hope that's not the case. But if it is their intention to go, uh, no amount of moral suasion is going to matter if they've made their decision to do what it is. But if, if, if the federal government had any kind of uh, financial suasion to, to leverage them to stay, uh, that's something that we would utilize. But it's not. It's a provincial jurisdiction, as we've said consistently. Uh, but, but none of that matters for the sake of those folks who are on the line, those 450 employees, plus, by the way, the non-unionized staff that are impacted by that as well. And, and, the, anybody, and the community anybody? businesses, absolutely. Well, all of that, and the trickle, the trickle effect, we all absolutely. understand how that is. And so for everyone's sake, honest to God, for everyone's sake, I, I hope this gets settled in a positive way. And, and I'm not sure whether to be optimistic or not. I don't see anybody blinking yet, and I think that's the tragedy here. It's got to happen. Well, so they're not going to blink. They're not gonna, you come and offer slash the wages. And, and you also mentioned the Labour Minister, the Federal Labour Minister. This is the very minister who had back-to-work legislation written before there was even a lockout at the, at the Listen, Cup you, W post. I mean, you, look, you have a clear agenda. I'd like to, and it's very clear, and it may not just be about EMD. If you want that's to have a discussion, absolutely right. It's about the workers of this you, country. If you and I want to have a separate chat, you're welcome to come to my office anytime and have that chat. I think today we're focused on what's going on with EMD. Yeah, well, thank you for that. and, and why weren't we invited upstairs? Is my next question. What, sir? To, to today's announcement. Why are we kept from today's announcement? We showed up at 332 Richmond. You moved it at nine o'clock or so last night. No, no, I, no, I did not. Well, somebody did because it was on the website. Well, but you said I did. So, so you know what? Well, it's your party's no, but, web. No, it, it, this is not our show. So if we're going to play straight and honest, then you've got to yes. be straight and honest. I am. No, well, I'm not the so Canadian sure. Canadian website, so sure. Canadian website, I have it on my phone, said 332 Richmond at 8 or 9 o'clock last right. night. This morning, I show up there. I have to go back to that website to find out if it's at 141 Dundas. And I'm glad you're here. And then you wouldn't let us in. The people that work here wouldn't let us this, in for this that is, this, is, this is not my invitation to let or not let people in. Then you should have had it in a that's, public that's, forum where we could have been participants. This was not your discussion. This was an opportunity. I'm a taxpayer. These oh, are my stop. dollars. Oh, oh stop. stop. Yeah, I'm in this your is, this is, this is I will ensure you're not in government in the future. Oh, stop. This Have it in a public forum where it's open and, and listening so this, I can listen to what you have to say at these very, announcements. This is a very public forum here. and uh, This isn't that announcement. Yeah.
Well, and I'd you, like to hear those you, announcements from now on. Thank you. Well, then, you know what? If you subscribe to my newsletter, I promise that you will. You send things to my house anyway, okay. so it's off. Mr. Holder, I just want to ask you a question. You, please. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tell yeah. me your name, sir. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I work with the hospital. I'm a nurse, actually. Yes, sir. So with the Canada-European Trade Agreement, yeah. CETA Trade Agreement, uh, the locked-out EMD workers, this is going to be happening uh, every month. Um, so, like, What's going to be happening every month, sir? I'm sorry. Well, the, the Europeans will have, you're going to, you're negotiating in uh, private with them. They're, you want to give them access to our water, our uh, water's public not, services. Water, water's not on the table. So if they could, water, water's uh, not on the table. okay, can you uh, write a statement maybe and give that to the media that water's not on the table? Yeah, just send, 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 give, I'll give you my card. Send me, send me a note and I'll just make sure that I make that very clear. Okay. So the other thing is that uh, if, they, if they're able to, to, to purchase our public services and uh, offer them, fire all the workers, hire, hire them back at a lower wage, uh, are, what are yes, you doing no in the CETA agreement to protect uh, workers right, so that a big year company from Europe can't come and uh, buy up a, a public utility and then uh, jack up the prices on water or, or uh, say... Uh, I, I think when you look at what the federal government's done as it relates to uh, a big Saskatchewan public utility like Potash, where we are Potash Company Corporation, where we said no, we didn't think it was in, 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 uh, in Canada's interest. We said no to that. Okay, and, so are you going to say no to all the ones no. that aren't in Canada's well, interest? Because well, then you well, wouldn't even be I, at the I, table with Europe. I, oh, well, I don't think that's Chapter true. I think, I, I think what you have to understand is what you've got is you've got a large 500 million person market uh, in Europe. Canada is a free trading uh, country. If you don't like free trade, nothing I'm going to say is going to matter to anybody. But I have to tell you, as, as someone who's on the International Trade Committee, and I am, uh, you see that there are benefits there, and there are net benefits to Canada. And does that mean there isn't some potential for some fallout? Of course there's some potential for trade that. In but it, but it, trade no, in water? Trade in our no, public no, you, services? No you, no, you didn't hear, my dear. Uh, I, Free I said, trade. I said water's yes. not on the table. Yes, it is. See, the, the comprehensive economic trade agreement has water, public services, everything is on the table. In fact, I, I, and it includes Chapter 11, which means we can be sued for barriers for trade. So how can you say it's not on the table? Well, I'll tell you what. If Has you, it been taken off if, since it was if you, first if, put if, out? If you want to come to, to my office uh, to, to discuss the specific CETA trade agreement, I'm happy to have that discussion with you. How, really how are you so. going to stop a company from uh, buying up a, a public, uh, say our public transit, and then shipping, um, you know, like off saying they have to take a 55% wage cut and cut to their benefits if they want to keep their jobs and maybe locking out workers. How, hey, have you, are you going to say have, to them have, if have they're offering a better deal? Have you had that discussion? Uh, it's an honest question. Have you had that discussion with uh, uh, with uh, Premier McGuinty and the, and the local MPPs where the, where the provincial Well, you guys are taking away their local I'm, I'm, I'm and talking, provincial I'm talking, about the, I'm talking about the EMD specific because that's why, I mean, you said you're not a, a member of EMD, but but frankly, I think I'm it is... I'm a supporter of EMD. Oh, sure. Whenever people get locked out... Who and, is, who isn't, who, who isn't a supporter of the who well, isn't you a aren't of the because workers. you haven't been down at the line saying I support you and what can I do to even help even as you? a public person you, know, you haven't been to the line do you, do you know here's what's interesting I if, if I sincerely thought that that going to Victoria Park last week now are you with the MD as well who are you with I'm sorry occupy London okay all right so and I appreciate you have an agenda as well and I respect that excuse me I don't well, have an agenda okay all right that's fine but but my my point is if I'm I, also in your writing by the way and I appreciate that as well. Lena West is a great writer. But uh, I'm not here to talk flippantly. And, and, I, and, and if I thought that, that being at Victoria Park and, uh, and doing what the mayor did would be would matter one bit as far as bringing, uh, uh, bringing a closer resolution to EMD, I'd have been there in a heartbeat. But, but if but you frankly, were there, then you would have done everything you could have, and you, you weren't. No, so that's the thing. No, sir. No, sir. It's, it, 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 it becomes your definition of, of the things that have to get done to try to bring this to resolution. What about the moral support as, as a citizen well, I, of the city I, saying, I, 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 I met really with this, I met with this, I met with the CAW this past yeah. week in my office and had a very good and extensive discussion with them yeah, about the issues there. Gets, that's good. So, and, 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 and so, frankly, no one's hiding from anybody on this, and I think that's important. So I'd like to know so. how health care is not on the uh, CETA agenda. Are, are you for a privatization of health care, a no, public private? No, I think that I think we've been pretty clear as a government that uh, that uh, we have a public uh, we have a public system of health care that works, and uh, and we're going to stay consistent. With but that. you guys are going to decrease funding to it, so the only thing left will be to privatize. Well, well do me a favor. Please come to my office. Let's have that discussion. I'd be happy to do well, that. Well, actually, I've been trying to have a discussion with you, and you've been what, what, refusing to meet with me. What's, I don't even uh, Tell me your name again. We'll make Jeff sure. Hanks? Jeff Hanks. I, I went to Ottawa to lobby for public health care, and you refused to meet with me. I don't know that. Well, actually, I know that. I know that. And, uh, you know, to me, it says... Uh, 
uh, holder gives cold shoulder to Medicare. You know? Yeah, I don't even get calls, phone calls back when I leave a message at the office. So, well, that, you know, frankly, that's easy to say, and, and, and uh, without knowing names and all, but, but frankly, I don't ignore my calls. And, uh, and, and, and I think today the focus is on, a, on EMD. If you want to discuss those other issues, please come to the office. Okay, okay. so appreciate so that. No, I think we're done today. Thanks very kindly. Bye -bye. The cameras are on me. Good job, Jeff. I got Susan Good job? Yeah.